This is the Okanagan Sun Coaches Show with Jason Casey and Ryan Waters. The league is back in action following the Labor Day bye week. For the Sun, it was a bit more difficult after their loss just before the break. It did give them a chance, however, to refocus. It also gave them a chance to make a coaching change. Offensive coordinator Tony Lindsay is out, and the club brings back Jay Christensen, who last coached the club in 2008. Head coach Jason Casey gave his players some time off during the bye week. Most of the team went their separate ways. Uh, we gave a good five days off for all the out-of-town guys. We got a lot of kids from Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, so they were allowed to go home and see their folks and friends and family or girlfriends, so be it. And myself, personally, I went fishing. It was great to get away and not think about football and went uh, to a small lake where some friends of ours have a cabin. I was just able to sit back and have some cold ones and uh, catch some fish. New offensive coordinator Jay Christensen has now seen the club for a couple of days now. He had a chance to meet the players a couple of days ago. Uh, what have you seen? Have you seen any differences as far as the, the O goes or just attitudes? I saw Jay right away. Yesterday we had kind of a spur-of-the-moment practice. We were just going to have film and meetings, but uh, with Jay coming up back on, we wanted to go out and get uh, get back on the field and just hands-on at every position. Right right away he was going around every position, making sure that what he wants done is being done, which I'm really glad to see. I, I do the same thing with my defense, so it's nice see Jay doing that with the offense very hands-on uh, and just getting to know the players right away so he can start seeing okay who are going to be the key guys when you know I want to call plays come game day. Also during the bye week you had Matt Walker coming from Vernon and also the University of Saskatchewan. Tell us about him. Phenomenal. Uh, he's got the one thing he can't teach. He's fast as lightning so it's it's great to see. Uh, he came in initially as a receiver with us. Uh, considering how thin we are at DB we're g- moving him over to fr- uh, safety now which he seems receptive to. I think he just wants to to play if it's a quicker way for him to get on the field then you know he's a competitive athlete that's what he's going to do uh, he's also going to return kicks for us so um, him coming into safety for us where we've been thin he's picking it up he's, he's played defensive back before in high school and over in Europe so he's not new to it by any stretch of the imagination but coming into our system it's you know it's not an overly complicated system he's been picking it up quite nicely I told him last night that uh, I like him at safety and I want to keep him there if he's if he's willing to put in the time then and he was very receptive to it uh, as long as we have him returning kicks so that was the that was the stipulation for him playing safety he wants to touch the football on special teams which I have no problem with he can return kicks and when you run four or five wouldn't you why wouldn't you want the, the ball in his hands you mentioned over in Europe Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, he was over in, I believe it was Slovakia. There's uh, there's men's league all over the world. I mean, there's if you want to play football, there's a league for you to play anywhere. Uh, there's there's leagues in Australia, New Zealand, all through Europe. So he was over in, I believe it was Slovakia. Uh, and yeah, there's countless men's leagues over there, and it's a lot of bl- it's a lot of fun. I played a lot with some guys in CIS that played over in Europe. Yeah, you play Canadian rules, American rules, or uh, the Slovakian rules? Yeah, it's it's American. Okay. They play American ball. Yeah. You uh, draw the Chilliwack Huskers coming into the bye week. What do you know about them? How are you preparing? They've got a talented O-line. I think the majority of their talent falls on their defense. You can't underestimate their defense. Uh, obviously, you know, someone listening to this would say, Chilliwell, they're 0 5. How can that be? They just don't have the depth. They just unfortunately don't have the depth that, you know, VI or ourselves or Langley might have at key positions. So that hinders the progress of any team when you're trying to play 60 minutes. Uh, you know, the first halves of their games, they're a very competitive football team. They're, they're tough and nasty. Um, so our offense cannot underestimate their defense, and we have to make sure we contain their quarterback. Their quarterback will run. They love to pass. They're going to set up in a lot of passing formations, but that quarterback, he will not hesitate to take off and run. So our D-line and outside linebackers have to key on that as well. And the, the biggest thing for us is we've got to execute our system. That's what we're looking at is from a defense, special teams, and offense point of view, we want to see us run perfection from the Okanagan Sun playbook, not you know, be worried about what the Huskers are going to do. Tough to get the guys refocused, not only coming out of a bye week, but as you mentioned, you, you faced the Chilliwack Huskers at 0-5. Not really, because I just got to mention what happened a week and a half ago and how we got beat by, you know, the the worst team that we'd ever want to lose to. So, uh, you know, that that's a bitter pill to swallow any time when you lose to the Raiders because it's such a, an enormous rivalry. Yeah. Uh, so you just got to touch on that and bring up the fact, look, see, this is why we're working on this, because it didn't work against the Raiders. And, you know, if it doesn't work against the Raiders, we need to work on it. So uh, I just got to bring up that game and just show guys film pr- throughout the season, say, you know, we are getting better, but there are still mental mistakes that we're making. Those things are correctable, but not if you keep making the same one over and over again. So we're kicking the guys in the rear end for that standpoint, and they know they need to get back up and and hopefully, you know, the second of three parts uh, to the season. It's school. It opened up this yeah. week. Uh, in, in thinking of school and the same theme, you're now a teacher. Give me a report card on the first half of the season for the Sun. As a whole, I will go B-minus. 
Um, there's still some things. Like, the biggest thing for me is mental mistakes. I got no problem. If you're going up against a guy who's faster than you, okay, well, that's something we got to work on the offseason. If he's stronger than you, that's something we work on the offseason. But mental mistakes when it comes to system-wise, uh, that can happen once. Um, but if a player doesn't show that he can correct it, learn from it, and get into a groove where it doesn't happen again, then that's a problem for me. Uh, so I think we're still making way too many mental mistakes, and a lot of them are reoccurring, which is, gets under my skin quite a lot. And the guys know that, and they are working hard. It's not like they're, they're, they don't care or they don't have pride or passion about the game. It's just for some guys it takes longer, and especially considering how new we are, like how many green guys we have coming into the Okanagan Sun. Uh, I'll give them some leeway, but five weeks of a season plus a bye week plus you know two weeks of training camp i mean you know two months of football these guys should be clicking a lot better than what we have been but i have no doubt that that's going to happen i'm i would put up you know our 70 guys against any other team in the nation and you know i'll, I'll do that the rest of the season the bye week gave the chilliwack huskers a chance to rest and recover after a difficult start to the season the huskers have come back refocused and they're eager to get their first win Head coach Luke Atchison tells us what they did during their time off. To be honest, we didn't do all that much. We uh, took a break. We recharged. It's been a bit of a tough uh, part of the season. Well, a lot of guys had to go home out of towners, and uh, we didn't do all that much during the bye week, but uh, got back at her this week. Do they look refreshed? Do they feel like a, a bit of a different team coming into the second half? Well, we, we, we've added a couple bodies. We've, we're definitely refreshed. Guys come in and, and are focused. We had a great practice tonight. Pretty happy with it, and and, and guys, guys are hungry for a win. So they came back and had some time to reflect on, on the first half of the season. And then they're ready to get after it second half. We think we all need a little bit of a chance to recharge the batteries. Out of the bye, you traveled to Kelowna. First time this year you've seen the sun. How are you preparing for Okanagan? Well, it's interesting. Um, Okanagan Sun have made a change at offensive coordinator. So uh, um, offensively, we can prepare for them uh, as we would any week and, and watch film to prepare that way and break things down and, and get ready for what, we're, uh, what we've seen thus far in the season. Um, for our defensive guys, a little bit tougher. Um, they're not quite sure what Jay Christensen is going to going to come at us with. Uh, we know they've had some time to, pre- to prepare with the bye week, so um, we're kind of preparing for what we've seen so far and also trying to think of what they what they might do in terms of making some changes. Do you go back to any game film from 2008 when Jay was the head coach and the offensive coordinator? We tried, couldn't, we didn't really find any, so um, no, mm-hmm. we didn't, we didn't, weren't able to go back that far, but uh, we'll see. It'll be a bit of a mystery what we get. We don't think that they're going to change too radically, mm-hmm. but uh, we anticipate uh, a lot more running the ball, kind of uh, old school Okanagan offense that everybody is used to, um, you know, maybe more uh, two backs instead of the one back. Uh, we'll see when we get there, and some of it will be adjusting on the fly, I'm sure, and making adjustments, but we're all excited to, to head up there in Kelowna. It's always great fanfare up there, and a pretty lively atmosphere, and then a full set of stands, so um, the guys are pretty excited about it. We're working hard to uh, give them a good test this weekend. I want to ask you about the first half, if you could reflect on that, with school opening up this week. Uh, if you could give your team a report card, a grade for the first half of the season, what would that be? Good question. Um, if I was to grade an overall grade, we, we could have played better than we did in a few cases. I think at times we did play very well. We seemed to play tough teams pretty well for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I was to give a grade, I'd, I'd give them a, a C, where, where we uh, got we got a lot improving to do. The Sun and Huskers will kick off at the Apple Bowl on Sunday at 2 p.m. I'll have the play-by-play right here at okanagansun.ca. Until I talk to you on Sunday... I'm Ryan Waters.